Okay. Hey, Residual Millionaire Insider, Steve Fisher here, and I got another Residual Millionaire right here, Mr. Mike Fody, that I am excited to, uh, for you to hear from today. He is going to share, I'm telling you, we've been talking all day, and uh, he is going to share some incredible nuggets with you today that I think will make a huge difference in your business. We're coming to you from my backyard. It's so beautiful outside, so we were like, man, let's do this yeah, outside. Great, it doesn't get weather. much better than this. So. Thanks for joining in, guys. We look forward to sharing this with you. So, Mike, let's, let's jump right in, man. Um, one of the things I love most about what, uh, what you do and some of the things you've shared with me over the years, um, but one of your prospecting tips I think is so powerful, and, and that's the, the one where you say, you're kidding. Ah, yes. Right? You know what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah, I know so, that. So maybe... You know, probably the best thing we could do today is maybe do some some role play. Sure. And uh, I want I want people to see how you do this live, how you do this right. when you're talking to people in different situations, and you use this to help get them in your business. Okay. Right. Yeah. So let's just I'll be the I'll be the prospect. Yeah, you be the prospect, and let me just say at the outset, it's based on the concept that look, money cannot buy you happiness. But an extra thousand dollars a month can often solve a lot of problems. A lot of problems. Okay, so that's that's the the core of it. So, let's say I run into you, I hadn't seen you in a while. You're in the bank, and I say, "Hey, Steve, how's it going? What's going on? What's new, my friend?" Man, Mike, things are good. I, I just got I got three kids in college right now, so I'm I'm uh, dying over Whoa. here. Whoa, you're kidding? <laughs> that's what I do. What? You do what? Steve, I have a business specifically designed that helps people get their kids through, through college without any debt. Wow. How do I do that? Well, I, I tell you, I, I got to run right now, but I mean, let's just have coffee. I just need about 15 minutes so from you. So you have a business? Yes. Say that again. I have a business that's specifically designed to help people get their kids through college without any debt. You know how people end up... They're at two hundred thousand in debt, and their parents right. feel awful. And yeah, I need to I'm, see that. Let, let's have coffee. Okay, that's scenario one. Scenario yeah. two, I see. Hey, a, do me a favor, guys. I'm telling you, this is going to be some incredible stuff today. So, <laughs> do me a favor, share this on your Facebook page, and get your team on here with us because you're not going to believe some of the stuff he shares today. I'm, I'm excited about it. So, uh, be sure and do that. We'll appreciate that. So understand right. when you when you practice this, you can tailor it to anything. So let's say I meet you in um, the supermarket, and it's another scenario. Just make anything up. Steve, how you doing, man? What's going on? It's been a while. Oh my gosh, I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing great. How's <laughs> life, man? Man, life is good, but gosh, uh, you know, I, I got uh, elderly parents that we're having to take care of, and and. Uh, you know, so a lot going on right now, and it's kind of tough financially, you know, dealing, dealing with that. You're kidding. That's what I do. You do what? Steve, I have a business specifically designed to help people earn the extra money to properly care for their elderly loved ones. Well, that sounds like something I need to hear. Because, we we I need mean, to get together. I mean, I yeah. just need about 15 minutes. Coffee Wednesday or Thursday? What's best? Let's do Wednesday. The sooner, sooner the better. All right. Yeah, All right. yeah. You're going to love this, man. I'll, I'll help yeah. you out. That's cool. Scenario two. Now let's take a third one. I mean, I mean you could say anything. You're losing the house or whatever. Steve, how you doing? What's going on, man? Man, you know, not too good. We're struggling right now. I mean, I'm like 90 days behind on my house payment. So wow, well, I appreciate you confiding in me, Steve. I mean, that's cr the crazy thing is that's what I do. You're kidding. That's what I do. You do what? Steve, I have a business specifically designed to help people who are losing their house make the extra money to keep the house. Oh, I'm, I need to see that. Uh, I mean, we got to get together. I mean, I only need about 15 minutes over coffee. What's good, Wednesday or Thursday? Let's do Wednesday. So I you might lose mean, it on Thursday. You can tailor it to just about any scenario when you practice it, and uh, it's kind of, it's kind of cool. It's fun. It's cool stuff, man. <laughs> hey guys, true. share share in the comments where you're joining from. I always like to see that we have people from all over the country joining in for these lives, and uh, hopefully you're getting some value. So if you got if you got some value out of, uh, you're kidding me. That, that, I, I love that line, man. When, so whatever they say, you're just responding with, you're kidding me. That's, that's what I do. 
And, yeah. and it's so powerful because you can tailor it to, to really any situation that you're talking about when you're, when you're talking to a prospect. And, uh, and In I fact, think while so we're on it, what's the number one objective, Steve? When you share an, an opportunity with someone, they say, I, I don't have I enough I say, typically, typically, the number one objective is time. Like, I don't have enough time, um, especially if you're talking to successful people, right? That's, successful people or, or people that own their own business or, or whatever, that's, that's their objection is they, they just don't have time. And, and here's the crazy thing. Busy people are the ones that do the best. Right. They always find a so way for to, to work things into their life, and they know so many people. So here's how you can overcome the number one objection, right? Uh, let's say I share the opportunity with you, you like it, and, and you say, go ahead, just say, I don't have enough time. I'm, I'm too busy, Mike. I, I just don't have, I can't take anything else on right now. I don't have time. Well, here's the crazy thing, Steve. I have a business specifically designed for busy people who have no time that helps them earn an extra thousand a month to retire early or get their kids through college. So let's get together, man. You, so that, that's how, you, right? How, how you don't have I, any time, right? Yeah, how can I do that if I don't have time? That's why we have to have coffee. It's specifically designed for busy people who have no time. Here's what I mean. How far is your commute to work? 15, 20 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you can make two calls on the way to work and two calls on the way home, just sharing a three-minute video about my opportunity, that's four calls a day when you have no time because you're, you were listening to the radio, wasting time. Four calls a day. You do that for six months, and six months is 180 days. That's 720 contacts you made. Yeah. You're going to have 50 people out of there say, wow, I, I need this. Yeah, it's good stuff. Well, Mike, that, that's, uh, again, that's one of my favorite lines that, uh, that I stole from you. I was at least, I'm an honest thief, you know, I told you I stole it from <laughs> we you. We allow everybody uh, to steal. I've stolen uh, things all the time. <laughs> so that's good stuff right there, guys. And I, I encourage you to start applying that. Um, and, and you're going to get some, you're going to get some uh, good stuff from that. So... Yeah, we talked about a lot of stuff today, Networking, yeah. um, you know, and, and you are, in my opinion, a master networker um, in more ways than one. I, and, and one of the ways that you network is networking groups. And, and I think you've just really mastered that. Um, and I'd love for you to share some of that. You know, what, mm -hmm. what it, how do you do that and, and what are you doing and what has it done for your business to be a part of these networking groups? Well, you know, it was about a year and a half ago, I, I joined the networking group, and I'm not a morning person. Like, it was early for me. I got to get up at 6. It starts 7 to 8.30 a.m. once a week on Thursday morning. And there's like 75 people in this networking group. They allow one per category. I'm the energy consultant. Right. They allow one doctor, one lawyer, one title company, whatever. And it's pretty tight. They use each other. Yeah. Okay, so I joined, and uh, you get 30 seconds every week to stand up and say what you do and you can make it pretty powerful 30 seconds yeah and um, I actually got 200 customers in 18 months out of that and then I joined this I, I didn't join I just visited a similar group on another morning and I met a guy there who heard my 30 seconds he said we ought to have lunch he got in he brought 140 people in and switched 1600 customers it's crazy wow these networking groups and they have different names it's La Tip PRE, I mean, um, just find one in your town. BNI. BNI, yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot of different groups that you can join. That's one of the things I talk about, Mike, is um, it, it's so important if you're in a network marketing business. I mean, uh, you know, here's your, here's your cue, network, right? And so it's good to put yourself in positions and get around lots of other people. And, I, you know, we talked about this today. I think so many people don't do that enough. They're not, they're not putting themselves in position to meet right. lots of new people. Well, you got to think out of the box a little and realize these are professionals who it's kind of an unspoken rule that if I use you, you use me. And yeah. it's pretty tight. And then, you know, they, they want to refer their mother, father, brother, sister, aunt to your service. Right. It's pretty tight. Yeah, it's that, a group, that's it's a great group. So, you know, I, I know you got that, you shared that one story of a guy that, what did you say, he sponsored how many people? He only brought in... I guess about eight to ten people, but that grew into about 140 in seven months. Yeah, and 1,600 customers. 1,600 customers. customers. Pretty, yeah. pretty powerful it's stuff. Crazy. So uh, anything else you want to share that, that networking groups has done for your business? Um, it's just, I mean, one hour a week or an hour and a half a week, yeah. one morning, and it's so productive. 
What so about popular. referrals? Do you get referrals from the people in that group, like them referring you to other people? Yes, it happens all the time. And I refer right. them. I had a guy who visited the networking group. He's going to join uh, Curtis from Clean Fleet. I'll give him a little commercial. He came to my home and he spent about two hours. First of all, he pulls up in a trailer. Two friends jump out. They're washing, waxing my Mustang for about two hours, inside and out. And I said, well, how much do I owe you, Curtis? He said, that'll be $60, Mike. I said, 60 bucks? Well, do the Mercedes right now. <laughs> and, and he became my customer because I used him right, right away. Right. And now we're helping each other with a lot of other referrals. Just more referrals. Yeah. And that's another thing, Mike, that, that people don't do enough of in network marketing. A lot of times people take a no and, and they just walk away with a no. Well, man, when you get a no, say, hey, could you help me out here? Do you know anyone while I was showing you this information? Did anyone come to mind that you think would be good for me? Right. And listen, people, right. people don't like to tell you no twice. So always go for the referral. A lot of times they'll give you referrals to get rid of you, right? And here's what I found, Mike. The referrals are usually great. Yes. Because when they refer you to somebody, it usually is a good referral. I mean, look, uh, you can't go in. Let's say you're, you're doing business with a guy for 10, 15 years, your dog groomer, your car salesman, and you don't want to say, hey, listen, you got to be my customer because I'm your customer. You don't want to do a tit for tat. But what you can say is, hey, I was thinking, John, I want to take our business relationship to the next level. It's kind of a softer way to say it. He says, well, what do you mean? So I've been using it for 15 years, but I want to start giving you a lot of referrals. I want to start like talking you up. To do that, I mean, it'd be cool if you became my customer. Because I've been here a while, you know, I want, to, I want you to be my customer, if that's okay. Yeah. And a lot of times they do it. If they don't, well, I'll tell you what, I just find another dog groomer. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because there's a lot of dog groomers out there, you know, a lot of car salesmen. That's, you know, business is business. And I do that with business owners all the time that I do business with. And I, I tell them, you know, I... I haven't shopped you around in like 10 years. I remember but, that. You even right? said, hey, John, I got to tell you, you're not the cheapest. You're right? not the cheapest. But I still and use I know you. it, right? Yeah. So I choose to do business with you for a reason, and I need you to do business with me. And, yeah, and it takes a little hood spy, got yeah. a little bit of courage, you know? I mean, Jump in I had a, I, one of my guys the other day, Ken Getz, he bought three cars from a guy over a period of like 10 years. He went in and said, John, that's the white car I want for my daughter. And he says, oh, by the way, did you bring your, your electric bill in? Because he's an electric bill business, right? Yeah. And the guy said, ah, I don't really have time for that, Ken. He said, oh, okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to come back and get that car when you have time to be my customer. Right. <laughs> and he walked out. And listen, this stuff we're sharing today works for any business. I, on my business page here, I don't talk about my company or anything like that. This works for any business that you're in, whether you're in the health and wellness or, or uh, real estate, whatever you're doing, this stuff works. Now, Mike, the, the last thing that we're going to talk about, because, hey, we got to run to Dallas, by yes, the way. Yes, big meeting tonight. Um, so the last thing we want to talk about, and, and you shared this with me today, and I was like, man, we got to talk about that because that is such a powerful way of getting someone's interest in joining the business because you show them the long-term value. Yes. And I think that's another thing people don't think about. A lot of times people think about here and now, right? But mm -hmm. what you showed me today was an app that you can literally punch yes. numbers in and show them the long-term value of just yes. doing a little bit. Okay? Absolutely. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to show you this app, and, and uh, we'll put it in the notes or in the comments or whatever. Uh, and do me a favor, if you're getting value so far, drop it in the comments. Get, get, give us some feedback. Let us, let us know in the comments that you're getting some great value from Mike today. But I'll tell you, you're going to love this next thing. And I, I think, Mike, again, this works for any, any business that you're in. Um, and, and, you know, use an example like with, with your company, okay. you get uh, 15 customers and they get 1200 bucks, right? Yeah, so, someone in my business, when they help 15 people save money on energy, they, they get a $1,200 bonus. So, okay. so I gave them a very simple scenario because this particular couple said, we could get customers, but I don't think we could build a team. I said, well, let's assume for a minute you cannot build a team, yeah. that you only get 15 customers and you get that 1200 and then your spouse joins, gets 15 customers, right. and another 1,200. So you then take that 2,400 and you invest it in a 6% mutual fund. Right. For, I said to them, how, how old's your youngest child? They said, she's one year old. I said, so you have 17 Perfect. years till they go to college. So now I'm going to show you this in a minute. 
From those 15 customers that they each gathered, they get a free energy check every month of $150. Right. So that's another 300 a month that's going to go into this scenario. So, so you're just showing them if, they, if that's all they did. That's all they did. That's all they did was they just got a few customers and, and they take the, the bonus money that they got and the residual income that yes. they're getting and they invest it. Yes. And showing them what it does in 17 yes, years. Yes, but here's the difference. You go to the Internet. You download Future Value Calculator or Future Value Amortization. I don't know if you can see the little globe here. Uh, uh, where is it? Oh, it's, it went it's away. on there. But I'm going to hit it and I'm going to show you some some numbers here. Okay. Okay. So, in this scenario, yeah. we're we're going to hit compound interest, and you can see that we invested the 2,400, 1,200 each, yeah. and the 300 a month at six percent. Then we scroll up, and you can see what it grows to. In 17 years, because they have oh, yeah. a one-year-old year daughter, 17. a one-year-old daughter, it's about $114,000. So here's what I said to him. I said, listen, you didn't even build a team. Right. You just gave away our service for free to 15 customers each, Yeah. took the money, and your daughter has an extra $114,000 for college. I said, if you can find a better way to find $114,000, do it and tell me. Yeah. Otherwise, this business is from you. And then I said, here's the best part. You don't think you can recruit? Once you do that and show your friends that you got 15 customers each, Created and you get 140, <laughs> they're going to join as an associate. Yeah. And it's just right on the well, internet. It's just, it's you, just you common them. sense stuff because they're excited about being able to create that kind of money for the college education. And they're saying, hey, I found a way to create an extra $114,000 yes. for my daughter's Without building education. a team, yeah, which would be pretty much be considered a failure in the network marketing business. Right. But you still have 104,000. We I shared this with someone at Dad's Bar and Grill, great Monday night meeting by the way, in Lumbert, New Jersey last night. She was sitting there, uh, a, a guy and a girl, boyfriend and girlfriend, and as soon as I shared it, she said they looked at her, said looked at each other, and they said, "We're in. We're, We're in. in. It's common it's, sense. We're, we're, it's a done deal." Because you know they're they're not thinking that way. Of create you know the cost of college education these right. di these days and people graduating from college with two hundred thousand dollars in debt. I mean, are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. Um, and you're giving them a why. You're, you're yeah. giving them a goal. And some people unfortunately don't come up with their own goals. So you give them a goal, right? And it's not difficult to do. So you didn't say, hey, go sponsor one hundred and fifty people to create this. No, it's it's you just do a little bit here. You just gather a few customers. And again, this can be whatever company you're in, whatever company you're talking about. You right. take your numbers for your company and say, hey, if you do this right here, it creates this much money. And then, like you said before, you and said, imagine if you actually started growing your business. Yeah. And actually brought a couple people in. What if you, now what what if you start it? sharing that story yes. with people? Because stories sell, right? Stories sell. But you're giving them a story. Yes. And, and that's the key is not, not focusing so much on, on you know, turning people away from your business that don't want to recruit. Show them how they can make money just doing a little bit. And I think the most important thing is, is teaching people to invest that money. And yes. that's, you know, most people don't realize how compound interest works that all you did was show them investing 1200 each, so $2,400. As an initial deposit. Initial deposit, and 300 a month over 17 years turns into, at 6% interest, turns into $114,000, yeah. Crazy. Man. It's incredible. I mean, what if you could teach millennials this right now? <laughs> like, hey, you know, $300 is, is really, it may sound like a lot to some, but that's, that's not a lot. Even if, if you could just find a way to create or make an extra $300 a month and you just invest that, that's $114,000 in 17 years. Well, that's, the that's crazier cool part thing. is they can do, they can each get 15 customers in, let's say, 90 days. Right. Right? And right. then they stop. In that scenario, they each get 15 customers and stop and they never stop. do anything again. Right. And it's $114,000. Now, you and I, we didn't stop. We built teams. Yes. And, and that's, I think, the next step that that you talk about for, for those that want to have more, right? Yes. Um, you and I were in different, you know, same similar situations um, as far as we were backed up against the wall. Yes. And and so our businesses, we had to create money. We had to we had to replace incomes. Yes. And so we built teams. And and uh, and even back then, Mike, I didn't realize the power of what I was doing. I was just desperate. Yeah. And. And so yes, I, I really put my head down and went to work. And, 
and I, I, was, I was working because when I got laid off, I said, you know what, that, that will never happen to me again. I'm not going to put my family in that position again. And so I put my head down and went to work and, and built a team, and I got to experience that leverage, you know, that even though I've sponsored, I don't know, in 12 years, I, I think, Mike, I, I think I've sponsored 85 people. Yeah, it's um, about, it's about and, the same. And, and uh, you know, somewhere around there, not counting the ones I've probably given away helped over the others, years. Helped others. <laughs> over yeah. 100 if you look at that. But, uh, but that amazingly, that, that turned into over 65,000 people. 65,000. 65,000 people because, I, because <laughs> wow. I built a team and I, and I helped drive depth on that team. Well, that turned into now I have, you know, that team is all out gathering customers as well yes. that we get paid on every month. And that's incredible leverage. Yes. You know, that, uh, that's, that's serious leverage there that people don't realize about network marketing that when you, start, when you start building a team here, I always like to say most people don't realize what they're starting when they start a network marketing business. And if you get after yes. it and build a team using these prospecting skills like you're talking about, because how many people have you sponsored? Well, uh, probably close to 100. 100. And you know, I shared a blog post on my blog, which, by the way, I always have to pump it, steve-fisher.com. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> There's good stuff on there. So I did a blog post uh, about that specific topic mm. um, that if you look in network marketing, the, the majority of your top money earners, which you are, and you're a perfect example today, the majority of the top earners in network marketing have sponsored 100 people. Yeah, I heard that. I heard the top 1% of all network marketers sponsored 100. It's a hard number to achieve. And here's, here's the concept. It's not what you do that can make you rich in this business. It's what you start. You yeah. start a, a, a concept that yeah. happens without you. They become your two favorite words. It, people yeah. are doing it without you. I like that. Because you started it. Right. I like that. And you keep starting. Yeah. You keep starting. I always say it's okay to quit at night. <laughs> right? So, so as you start back up in the morning, you wake up, you got to start Look, I mean, the bottom line is uh, in this business, people quit all the time. Yeah. And you can't worry about it. I, I came up with a phrase that said, when your dog dies, go buy a puppy. <laughs> Not to be insensitive if your dog just died, but when someone quits and you go get a new person, they are so excited about what they just got involved with. They let you do a home meeting. They're calling you and asking you questions. They actually turn you into a more excited person because they're so positive. Well, okay, we'll close with this, Mike, because, again, we got to go to Dallas. Yeah, we got to get out of here. But if you've sponsored 100 people, you've built a huge team, you've had disappointments along the way. Sure. I, oh, yeah. I mean, you know, you're talk we're talking about quitting. I'm sure you've wanted to quit. So yes, what, many times. Talk about how to how to overcome that because here's the truth of the matter you just said it the the majority of people do quit and and so that's what that's what the masses do is is when they when they experience these hardships and these disappointments whatever it may be and they, they get started it doesn't grow as fast as they want it to or they have people on their team quit I mean God forbid someone on your team quits um, and and they quit over that stuff Mm -hmm. So how have you over the years overcome that? You know what? A phrase just, I heard a phrase once. It just always rings true in my mind. If you, here it is. If you want what others don't have, you got to be willing to do what others won't do. And yeah. you got to be open to trying different things. Uh, when, I, when I talk to people and they're closed-minded, I say, listen, your mind is like a parachute. If it doesn't open, it can kill you. If yeah. it opens, it can save your life. Save this your life. business saved our lives. I mean, right. network marketing is... When I, come, when I was flying over on the plane in that cramped, very uncomfortable three-hour flight, I said, I don't know how people do this all the time. Or, or when they're stuck in a two-hour commute from Philly to New York, how do they do this all the time? Right. You know, and right. You, you know, it takes time, it takes effort, but if you want what others don't have, you've got to be willing to do what others it's want. Just for a little while. Just for you know, a while. You yep. talked about that today. You 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 know spent two years basically away from your family, yeah. you know, building the business because you had to. Yep. Yep. But now you have the rest of your life where you're home all the time. Yes. I mean, it's kind of a you know huge uh, thing there when you can sacrifice for just a little while to get your whole life back. That's network marketing. And that's network marketing. Yep. So. 
Guys, I hope you learned a ton today. That was some great stuff, man. What's that app again? So they so they get it. Uh, uh, go to Google and download Future Value Calculator. Future Value Calculator. It's easy to use. Get that app. It's great, man, to be able to show someone the long-term effect of investing just a little bit of money. Pretty cool. Great stuff. I hope you liked it today, guys. If you liked it, share it. Show the love. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll be back for another Live at 5 soon. Thanks a lot, guys. See ya.